Hello, everybody. I've got uh, something different today. Um, we're going to try uh, a new puzzle type that I actually have not done before. So we're going to learn a puzzle type together. Uh, a while back, I did a bunch of videos um, when I had an advent calendar uh, that I posted a puzzle every day in December. Uh, it's still on my website. You can go check it out. Link in the description. Um, and there was a comment on one of those videos uh, from Daniel who said, Thanks for this. I'm stuck on a Nori Nori. I wondered if you might be up for doing a short video with tips for that. Um, well, Daniel, I have actually never done a Nori Nori, although I am familiar with the, the existence of Nori Nori. <laughs> That's about all I know is that it's a puzzle type that exists. Uh, and it's not a Sudoku variant, although I have seen, I think some people have done Nori Nori Sudoku combos, I believe, but... I haven't solved any of those, so we're going to learn it together um, and see what we can come up with. So I don't know what kind of tips I'll have, but, you know, I, I've done a lot of other puzzle types, so I think some of the logic will probably transfer over to this, hopefully. I guess we'll find out. So um, we're going to be in Puzzlink today. Uh, I just basically looked on the database, and I'm just going to pull out some puzzles. Um, we'll start with easy ones and get harder and <laughs> see how it goes. Um so this is actually from crossplusa.com. Um, these are the rules for Nori Nori. So it's a logic puzzle invented by Nikolai. Um, a rectangular square grid divided into regions. Okay, the aim is to blacken some cells of a grid according to the following rules. Every region contains exactly two black cells. Okay, and we can see the example down here that there's two dark in every region, okay? Every black cell must be a part of a two by one or one by two, so a domino can be two by one this way or one by two so it can be you know vertical or horizontal uh, no two dominoes may share an edge black blocks can touch each other diagonally so okay so yeah so you can't put um, the dominoes can't be like a t-shape or end to end or sandwich beside each other essentially but they can touch diagonally okay so we're just filling the grid with dominoes essentially okay um, so let's see, let me pull up the first, all right, so here's the first one. Um, all of these are from Puzzlink, and when you go to the database, it actually links to the person's Twitter or blog post or wherever where they posted the link. Um, and so I'll put, uh, you know, right above me here, the, the person's Twitter post so that you've got the information about who all of these are by. And this one is a level one. Um, according to Puzzlink, so hopefully it shouldn't be too difficult. Um, I can already see it looks like it's going to be pretty easy because we know we have to have two black cells in each region. So, I mean, I think these one by two areas, we just have to fill them, right? And then we have this big region here, which I suppose the problem then is we can't have, you know, we can't do something like this because it would be, oh, apparently, ah, that's interesting. If you put two cells in a region, it fills in the rest green for you. So you can left click to put a black one in and right click to do green. It's pretty standard puzzling stuff. But anyways, we can't do this because they would be um, sharing an edge. And I bet if we hit check, it'll tell us. Yeah. Size of a mass of shaded cells over two. Okay. Um, so we got to find a spot where we can stick one in. A domino that's not going to touch any of the... Ah, oh, right here. There we go. Complete. All right. Good. That was a very basic introductory puzzle. Um, let's see. Let's move on to... All right. Here's puzzle number two. This is also a difficulty one. So, again, we have to fill in this region up here, right? So then I suppose we can mark those as not. And we have to do these. And this one can't come down here so it's gonna have to go over that way and this one there we go complete all right another easy one okay those are good just to kind of figure out the rules okay <clears throat> puzzle number three this one is still a difficulty one uh there's a little more involved at least here though we still got a bunch of regions we can fill in right away i feel like um and then I suppose we should mark the the areas that we can't put black. 
Um, I suppose maybe if you're more experienced at Nori Nori, you don't always have to mark all of the the green, but I'm going to do it um, because... Well, in these corners now, we've only got two cells left, so we can do those. And Oh, and this middle one up here, too, same deal. Now, this big one goes all the way around. We've still got quite a few options down here. Ah, these, these right here, uh, these two regions actually are both the same. We've got to do like that. Those are the only two left, and this one has to stick out this way. And this one will have to stick that way. Oh, and we've already got our two in that big one then. Okay. Uh, now these are the same kind of as up here. These little L-shaped ones that only have two left. So we can do those. Ah, and now these two are both going to have to stick down. And now there's this last big region here. Okay, right. So you can't... This one up here... Where would it go to make a domino? There's nowhere for it to connect to. So that one can't be. Same over here. And these corners are the same way. So the last domino will go there. Complete. Cool. All right. So that is level one. <laughs> Luckily, level one didn't um, cause me too much trouble or I would have been worried. So we're going to move on to a level two puzzle now. This is level two. Uh, we've still got these that we can fill in and let's mark our greens see if that helps us so okay so i can see that this one up here has nothing to connect to so it has to be green same right here this one has nothing to connect to if you make it black so it has to be green which means we only have this little region up here only has two blacks left two options and this one has to stick down it's the only way it can go now this one could go one of two ways ah this one up here has nothing to connect to so it's green now this one has to either stick down or over it either goes like this or like this but either way this one's going to be green see that up here we've got oh okay yeah so if we do this one it's going to stick down but the key thing is if we do that we can only do one more black in this region and so either one of these is going to be isolated then so we're going to have to do both of those so that's a green ah we've got a, a little l-shaped thing here with only two options left and that leaves only two in this region and now there's only two in this region, and this one has to stick down this way. Nice. Again, this is the same kind of thing as up here. It's got to go either left or down, and either way it's going to make that one green. Okay, this one down in the corner has nothing it can connect to, so it has to be green. This one now also has nothing it can connect to, so this was the black, that one's green. Uh, this region down here, the little T-shape, only has two left. And now this L only has two left. This one's going to stick out that way. And now we've completed this big region, which gives us the direction for this black up here. This one's isolated right here. It can't connect to anything. Now this one's going to either stick up or left, so we can make that green. Oh, that's interesting. So we've already got one black in this kind of middle big region here. So we can only put one more black cell in this region. So it has to, the whatever cell is black, it's going to have to be part of a domino that crosses the boundary edge. So we couldn't put one right there, for example, because we wouldn't have any more cells to connect it to so all of these are gonna be green so it's got to be one of these two right and if we go right here then these two have a problem because this one has to stick over and we have a three so this is so this is black and again it can't come down we'd have three in a row so that's got to be black uh and this one there we go complete all right level two level two down um 
let's see. I think maybe we'll try a level three now. Let's be daring. Okay, here is uh, level three, Nori Nori. Um, okay, well, we can mark... Oh, this is different. Hmm. I wonder if there's two versions. Some some of the things on Puzzlink I've noticed have two different versions of the player. I'm not sure why, but this one is using dots instead of green apparently, and gray instead of black. But okay, it shouldn't really make much of a difference. It just looks different. So we go. Oh, so down here we've already got these kind of C-shaped regions. Um, only have two options left. So we can do that. Uh, and this one has to go this direction. Uh, these, so we can do the same kind of thing we did before, but this has to go up or left so we can mark these all as not, um, not black or not gray, I guess, in this situation. Oh, these L's up here are kind of like these C's. There's only two options left. Um, this one has to go to the left, and now there's only one space left in this square one so that has to be gray this one's now forced over that direction which leaves only one other option over here let's see what can we do now this one's got to go up or left same with these ah this one can only go to the right which gives us that and now this top one only has two left this one is forced to the left. Got to finish off this region up here. That one can only go to the left. This one only has one option now. Uh, we need to put... Oh, we need to put three across this bottom one. I mean, we need to put two cells, and there's three options. Now, if we think about it, if we went... We can't do both of these, because you'll have a three-cell region, right? And since you can't do both of those, you can only do one of those two, this one has to be shaded. Um, and therefore, that one has to be shaded. There we go, which puts this one this direction. Got to finish off this L. This L needs to be finished, and there we go. That was a level three, and it's a kind of a, a neat little pattern there at the end. Um, it didn't start off looking like it was going to be a pattern like that, at least... Not for me. Maybe people experienced with Nori Nori would think so, but uh, all right, let's do let's do another level three. Okay, this is a really small one. Uh, level three. It's tiny though. Okay, we can. Oh, we're back to the other interface again with black and green. Um, ah, we only get one one gimme region this time. Uh, so I'm looking over here. There's only three here. Right, so if we did both of these, that would rule out two of the three in the region below it. And we need more than one black. So we can't, again, we can't do both of these, and therefore you have to have that one. And the only way that one can connect to a domino is right there. And that only leaves two uh, in this region. They can't stick down, because it would make a three cell. So this one has to go to the right, this one has to go down. It finishes off that region. This is green. Let's see. We can't do both of these because this one would have to go down. We'd end up with three. So since again, since we can't do both of these, one of them has to be here because you can only do one of these two up here. Now again, down or right, that gives us a green there. Ah, and so now, same kind of thing. There's three options in this L. We can't use both of these. And so that one has to be green. And now, since we've got both of these two as black, this one can't be black. So that we only have two, those two options in the L. Fill in the greens here. Uh, I think this one could go up or right. Oh, it goes up or right, correct. So this one is green, because either way, and now that that one's green, this top corner has nothing to connect to, so it has to be green. That gives us the black there. There's only two left in this region over here. This one is stranded here. It has nothing to connect to, and our final domino is there. Awesome. So that's another level three. Um, 
Let's try a four. <laughs> see what we see how we do. All right. Not surprisingly, we're back to another bigger one. <clears throat> we do have quite a few of the gimme regions, though. Still, I'm kind of surprised on level four that there's that many gimmies. And and by the way, um, difficulty ratings on Puzzlink, I believe, are related to how quickly people solve the puzzles. So um, it, it's not entirely, you know, the, the fives aren't necessarily always the hardest. And the one, you know, you can get some, if you get like a, you'll get some meme puzzles sometimes where there's like a weird trick that's kind of, um, I don't know. Anyways, so sometimes those take people a little while and so they end up seeming harder or, you know, you can you can get a lot of different things. So um, the point is the difficulty is not necessarily uh, real strict. Anyways, back to this puzzle. Level four. Uh, so I filled in all the gimmies. Now I'm looking for an area right right here. This C only has two options left for the black. This one has to go to the left. Now that one could go up or left. I've already got a green right there. Oh, so okay, this is kind of cool. So this region here, this little snaking long thing, already has one cell that's black, right? This one has to extend into that region, right? See, so you notice when I click, it makes all the rest of those green because one of these two is going to be black. We've already got a black down here. We can green out all the rest of these in the region. Now, what else can we do? Let's see. I'm looking at this, there's only three options here, this little L-shaped thing, and I'm wondering if we can rule out Right, so you can't do both of these because this one would be stranded then. So if you can't do both of those, you have to do this one. And it can't go to the right. You'd have three in a row, so that's green, which gives us our black up there. Now this one could go either direction here, I think. Yeah, because this one up here only has four left, but if we went, if this was black, these would both be green, but we'd still have a a spot there. Uh, oh, what about this region here? This one only has two black cells left. That one has to stick up there. This one's either going to go up or left, so that's green. Now we can do the same kind of thing here um, that we did be on the last puzzle. So we've got a black cell in this region up here already. If we put one here or here or here it's going to be stranded it's going to have to since we've already got one cell in the region the other cell in the region is going to have to cross a boundary a region boundary so either one of these on the left side would be fine this one could go to the left this one would connect down but these are all green up here uh let's see what else can we do what about down here can we do anything This one could go over here. You'd have those two. I think that's still okay. All right, so these two would be fine. Ah, now that's interesting. Okay, so there might be a better way to do this. I don't really know, but So if we did, imagine we had that for a, a, a domino. These two would both be ruled out. So clearly we can't do both of those, right? But we also can't do both of these. Because again, it rules out the other two. So essentially what I'm saying is if you put a black cell right there, it can't extend into this L down here. It would have to stick up that way. But if we put, 
if we do both of these here, that's going to rule those out. And that's going to force this one to extend into this L, which we can't do. So those two, we can't do both of these. So therefore, this one is black. There's probably a better way to see that. Um, I suspect it has something to do with this little T-shaped region and how it affects those two. But I don't, I don't know Nori Nori very well, obviously. <laughs> so... I'm just making this up as I go along. But this one has to go to the left. So that'll give us greens. Puts a black there to finish off this region. Now that one could go up or left. Uh, we This one down here in the corner is now not allowed. Because it would have to come up and create a three cell. Um, now, again, there's three options in this T shape. We can't use both of those because it'll create a, a three. So we have to have that one in. One of these two. I feel like either one is still possible. Ah, ah, but, but if we put a black cell right here, it's going to have to go up or left, and either way, it's going to cause a problem with this black one. So this is green. That gives us black to finish off this region. Now we can fill those in. This has to be black to finish off the T shaped region. Now we only have these two left in this other one. Gives us greens there, forces this black to go down. Uh, now, if, so I can see we can't use either of these unless we use both of them. So it's either gonna have to be a domino over here or a domino up here for this region. Okay, which means you can't, oh no, you can go right there because it connects to the one to the right of it. You can't do this, obviously, but. Now, okay, so it's pretty clear this three cell region up here, we can't stick out this way because you'd mark off both of those. So if the middle is in, then it has to go up or down. Can't go to the right if the middle is in. Now, if the middle wasn't in, we would have both of these, and this one at the bottom would be stranded. So we can't have both of these, which means the middle is in, and the middle can't go to the right. It has to go up or down. Either way, that one's green because this is sticking up or down. Now, we can't do these two, right? Oh, we could still do this one if that's... Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, these are definitely getting harder. This one... Okay, so what, ah, ah, yes. Okay, we have three cells left in this L shape, right? If we, this other L shape up here on its side, if we put the domino there, it's gonna get rid of two of the three. So we can't put it right there. What if we put, and if we, right, and if we put the domino right here, it's gonna take out too many in this L shape. So we can't use both of these. We can't use both of these. We're gonna have to use one, from each of those two. And so if we, oh, we could go there though, couldn't we? No, we can't. So, right, okay, I see now. Okay, this L shape is where we need to look. This, uh, I guess it's more of a seven, this seven, right? If if we use, we only got three options. If we use these two, it rules out too many of this other L above it. So we can't use both of those. So this one has to be black. Okay, that gives us a bunch of stuff. This one's now isolated right here. It gives us a domino over there. 
we've now got one left in this sort of looping around section which has to come to the left it gives us that now we only have one left in the seven here it's got to go left or down we've only got two left in this other L, so we have to use both of them. It gives us greens. Nope, nope, sorry. It gives us a green right here. This one actually has to be black to complete this region, which makes that green and that black. There we go. Okay, that was a level four. It was definitely trickier. I was surprised at how many, um, you know, gimme regions we had at the beginning, but, uh, then it was a little trickier after that. Um, all right, I am going to... All right, this is a level five. Um, we're gonna we're gonna be crazy and see if we can do a level five. Okay, let's see. Oh, we still have some. Oh, we're back to the dots and grays again. Um, we still have some gimme. Well, a gimme region. Okay, okay, a gimme region. Um, I'm kind of surprised there's any at all, actually. Oh, and then th that gives us another right here, and that one has to go to the left. Now this one's going to go left or down, so we can fill that in. Okay, well clearly, so there's three in this square. Clearly we can't use both of those, which means that one has to be gray. That's going to go left or down as well. Now, can we... We do either, I think we can do either one of these two. Okay, what about in the corner up here? This feels like maybe it's restricted here. Because, all right, well, we can't use both of those, right? Because they, they obviously would have, this would be a dot. Those would both have to go down, which would rule out all of those, yeah. So you can't do that. So in the corner, you can't use both of these. So the corner has to be one of them, which then means it's either going to go to the right or down. Either way, this one is ruled out, which gives us both of those. This one's ruled out. There we go. Um, so this, oh, yeah. So this gray extends either up or to the right. But either way, it's giving us a cell in this top region. We've already got one cell in the top region. So we can rule the rest of those out. This one now has to go down. This gray is extending into this sort of U-shaped region. So we're going to get one. That one can't be. It's one of these two. Ah, if it goes down, it rules out all of those. And then we only have one in the U. So it actually has to go to the left which gives us all those and all of that. And now we only have one cell left in the U. It's got to be right there. So let's see, what can we do now? Ah, this gray now has to come down here. Now we have two options left in that region. If it's here, it's got to come down down if it's here. oh we can't do these two because it rules out too many of the options in this three so either way whether it's here or it's here it has to stick down into this one or it either is over or down because this one can't go down so that's a gray there and it's connected to one of those two which means we can't have that one i think that works now this one has to either go left or down into here and again, you can only have one of, it's going to take one of these two, and the other one is going to be ruled out. So this has to be a gray, I think. And now, this is an interesting pattern, because now this gray that I just put in here can't go up or down, or it creates a three-cell gray region. So I think it does that. I hope I'm doing, doing the right logic here. Uh, now this region through here has one it needs another it only has one spot that one has to go to the left uh this one can't go down okay we can't use both of these 
because it rules out too many in the three below it. So that one has to be gray. It's got to go left or down, so that's ruled out. Now we've got, okay, we've got one gray in this region already, this little um, lightning bolt shape. So we can only add one more. If we put a gray right there, it's going to be stranded because it can't go left or down since we've already got. So that's not allowed. So one of these two is now gray. So that's not a gray. <clears throat> no, that's not true. That's not true. Sorry, because I could put a gray here and have it stick down. So that one I can't rule out yet. This one, uh, this cell up here, now is isolated because it can't go to the left to create three so that's not allowed to be gray one of these two is gray and so we need one more from these these three cells over here but only one. So we can't use this one because it would have to connect to another cell in that region. So now one of these two is in and has to extend. Can this one go? Oh, this one could go down that way. So one of these two Okay, well, so one of these two is a gray. It's either completing this domino or it's creating a new domino down here. So this one can't be in. Oh, actually, if you create this domino, that rules out too many in the three. So you can't do that domino. And if we went right there, it would have to come down. So this has to be the one. This is the domino down here then. That leaves only one spot in this lightning bolt. It now goes left or down, and again, this, this smaller lightning bolt is going to either have a, this domino is either going to come to the left or go down. So one of those two is going to be gray. This will have to be the other gray cell. Which means now this one can't be because it would create three. So that one's got to go to the left. This one. Yeah, so it's continuing the theme. This one is either going to go left or down. Either way, it extends into this region at the bottom so this one is not allowed uh, because it would it, well this one's not allowed not because of that but because it would have to go to the left and it would create a, a, a three group this one's going to go left or down so this one's out one of those two is gray and only one of those two so this one is gray and same deal it's going to go up or left one of these two is gray this is gray um, it's got to go up or left. One of these two is gray, so one of these up here has to be gray. Now, can we? what can we do with this? There's three cells here. Okay, if we didn't have the middle, if we had the outer two edges, this one would have to stick down and it would create a, a group of three. So we can't only have the outer two. So we have to have one in the middle. Which means, right, so it can't go up. If it went up, it would rule out both of these and that would cause problems. So it has to go to the left or the right. One of the two. Ah, but that means, so we had a gray um, down here, and one of these two was going to be gray. So in this region in the bottom left, we need one gray in these top two. If it was there, it would have to extend to the right, which would create a group of three. So it has to be the top one. Now it's going to go left or right, ruling out that. So how do we finish this off then? We know one of these two is in. So one of these two. Oh, well it can't be this one. If we put a gray there, it has to extend to the right, which would create a group of three. So that's out. One of these two is gray, which means that one is gray. That gives us that. 
domino in there, fills that in. Uh, now we've got one here, one of those two. Oh, well, this one obviously can't be. So now in this small region down here, this one has to be gray. And that will finish it off for us. Complete. All right. Level five. Um, now, when I was pulling up this level five, I went in and looked. You can search in the database by difficulty. Um, I noticed there were uh, puzzles by um, some names that I recognize. So we're going to look at those. So this one is by Nityant Agarwal. I'm sure that's not how you pronounce their name. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> it is what it is. All right. Um, and, okay, as I expected, we don't get any gimmies this time. Well, not the two, the one by twos anyways. We can still do that trick with the corner up here, right? So, um, that we did on the last one. If we, if we have both of these... This one can't stick down, so it would have to go this way, which would rule out too many in the, the connecting L shape. So we can't do both of those. The corner has to be in, which means it's going to go right or down. That's out. That only leaves two options in this region. Now we only have two in here. This one's got to stick down. This one's either going to go right or down. Well, we only have two up here, which leaves only two left in that one, and only two in this one. Nice. Now, we can't, ah, so we have three left in this long one across here. We can't use both of these, because that creates a group of three. So this one has to be gray, and it's got to go down or right. If it came down, that, no, it doesn't rule out too many. Never mind. You could do the diagonally there. So, the only way we can do the top right in that square is if we also do the bottom left. Yeah, okay. I don't see... Don't see it. So we got one of these two over here. It's either going to complete that domino or it's going to stick down this way. Okay, so there's something interesting going on here. If we do this one down, it's the same thing. Again, you, you end up with the diagonals. Just like this one, but I don't quite see how those relate to each other. If this and again if this one comes down it's gonna force so we've got diagonal things going on here all right I, I could um, I could probably bifurcate that little area there but I'm not going to so Over here, we're either going to have one that comes down, like that, or one here that either comes down or over. Let's see, is it possible to do... Is that possible? No, that's not possible, because it would rule out that one, but this one would also be isolated. So we can't use both of those. This one has to be gray. But we don't know which direction it goes, up, down, or right. If it goes right or down, it rules out this one. So it either goes up or there's a gray here. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Let's see. What else can we do? we do anything down here in this corner? I don't really see how that... I 
No, I'm not seeing it down there. Okay, there's probably something there. All right, I got to come back up here to this one. So let's think about this. If we if we extend this one down, we know it creates the diagonal. It also forces a gray here, which is going to have to come down and create a diagonal. And that's going to make this one down into this region. Diagonal. Which is going to force. Yeah. I don't know. I can't quite see it. Um, what am I missing here? All right, we're gonna we're gonna. I'm just gonna put that in. I want to see. This would have to come down. That would have to come down that way. I'm just not experienced enough with Nori Nori to really figure this out. So I feel like we could do those two. And you'd have to have another gray over here. Or we could do these. No, we can't do those two. Oh, that corner would be out. So, right, if you get to here, you can't do this corner is out, and now you, you can't use this corner with another one. You, you can't use this one because it can't connect to either of those. So you would have to do these. So they kind of cascade across, but you end up with this loop shape over here. Interesting. So if you go this way, then you're going to end up with that, but then hmm, I figured I figured this one was going to be difficult, um, just because I know uh, that the the creator of this puzzle um, is probably going to make a puzzle that's tricky. So, what can we do? This one, it could go there. That would force that, force that. Oh, yeah, there you go. That's the problem. Okay, this one here, if it extended to the right, it would take up too many of those. So, if you were here, it would have to come down. But if this one goes to the right, it forces that one to the right, and that one can't go to the right. So this can't go over here, so this one has to be gray. There we go. Now, what does that do for us? <laughs> well, they can't both go up. I know that. So this one goes up. It'll rule out all of those. Right, which would create a domino here, but you'd have a set of three. So this one has to come down, which puts that there. Now that's the only one left in this region across here. And now we have to use both of these, which is going to do this and force that diagonal pattern we were talking about. Now this one is isolated, and now you need two. And you can't use this one with either of those other ones. So it's gray, or it's a dot, these are gray. There we go. This one's gotta stick down. That forces this gray to go down. Now we need, we've got one gray. We need one more gray in this um, long region across here. Can't be this one, because it'll be isolated. So it's one of these two, and it's only one, so it has to stick down into here. Right, and this one can't because it takes up too many options in that three. So this has to be the one that comes down. This is our only other option in this three. Uh, there we go. Now we only have two left for this one. 
gives us those. This one can't be a gray. It would have to come left and create three. It makes a domino there. This one goes to the left. Now we got it. It's only those left for a domino in the bottom left here. This one's now isolated. This one is isolated because there's already one gray. This one, same deal. It has to be across the border. There we go. All right, now that one was definitely a level five, uh, but it was a lot of fun. I liked, uh, you know, the you have to have you have to have a place to start, right? And that's what those um, kind of one by twos are doing. Um, they're giving you a place to start, uh, but sometimes if, if if like the easy ones when you're first learning, the easy ones are great, but those kind of feel like they. Um, like you're almost not even thinking. So this this definitely took a little more thought. There was a little point where I did a small bifurcation, um, but I think actually I was focusing up here in this region, and that wasn't the where I needed to look. I needed to look down here with this area, which I got eventually. But all right, now I've got one more uh, level five I want to try, and then that'll probably be. I think that'll be. I think that'll give us ten puzzles. For this video which should be um sufficient all right this one is by zoned um this is also a level five let's see what can we do this is an interesting looking puzzle as well um again no no one by two gimmies now there's got to be something with all these three cell regions in the middle here Okay, well, I can see that we can't do that because it takes out too many in this L. We also can't do that because, again, same problem. So, right, if we have, right, so this, this cell right here, if this is gray, it can't go up or right. We already determined that. But it also can't go left or down because if it goes left, it rules out both of those. Down, same thing. So, in fact, this one can't be gray at all. So effectively in the middle here we have three um, little L-shaped three cell regions because that one's ruled out. So this can't go that way. This one can't go this way. But we have to have one of these two, right? We know that. At least one of those two. And so Oh, but it could go, right, it could go up. No, it can't go up this way either. Same problem. And this one, same thing. Right. So if we have this one, it has to go to the right. If we have this one, it has to go up. One of those two has to be gray. So this one has to be gray, effectively. And it has to connect to the left or down. So these can be ruled out. Now we've got a weird thing going on here. This one, if it comes down, we're gonna get both of those. And if it goes to the left, we're gonna get both of those. So, right, so this one is in no matter what. And it's gotta go up or to the right. So we're gonna get one gray in here that has to connect to another region. I think we're doing the same thing down here, right? It's all, isn't it? It's essentially symmetrical. Once you get rid of this central cell, uh, there's a little bit different in the edge, but this, this kind of, this diagonal, I think we're symmetrical essentially once you rule out that middle cell. So it's the same problem. This one can't go up. It can't go to the left. It'll have to go down. This one will have to go to the left if it's in. One of the two has to be in, so this has to be gray. And it has to connect to those, so these are ruled out. This one's going to be in. Yep, yep, it's all the same. <clears throat> so, now, is there, I think we can do something else. So if we go this way, we said it had to be there. which means you can't use those two, right? It would have to have one here.
But we still don't know which of the other two. Yeah, okay. Let's see, maybe there's something we can do down here. Oh, right, this so this three here, we can't use both of those because it'll rule out two of the three in there. So that one's a gray. And similarly, you can't use both of these because it rules out too many there. So this one's gray. Those are both gray. Now, can this one be gray? No, because no matter where it extends, it creates, a th if it goes here, it creates three. If it goes here, it creates three. Here, it creates three. So that one actually can't be. That gives us a domino down there, which gives us this domino because you have to finish that region. Now we have three options here. If you have that, it's gotta extend Right, so this one, if this was gray, it would extend either up or left, but either way, it's gonna rule out two of the three in that one, so that can't be. These are the only two left in this region. Which now means in this three L shape here, you can't go, you can't have those two, you can't have these two. So, so you can't have this one because no matter where it extends, it's going to create a group of three. So these two both have to be part of dominoes. That gives us that. And now, right, so these, both of these, we're going to have only one left there and there. That rules out these, makes those dominoes go that way. And now same deal. This one can't, you can't have this one because it's going to create a three no matter where you put it. So these two are in. Ah, now that's interesting. So this gray up here is going to extend either up or to the right. So either way, this this one is going to have one gray in it and need one more gray. And they're going to be on opposite legs. So you're either going to have gray here and here or here and here. Either way, the other one that's by itself is going to extend into this long region up here. So you're going to have one gray in this long region the second gray is going to have to be on a border, but it can't be on the border with this one. And this is already ruled out down here. So the only place it can be on a border is right there. And so now, which rules out this one? So they have to be this way. Nice. I really like that. I bet we can do the same thing down here, can't we? Yeah, same deal. This one is going to extend left or down. The other one's going to have to be on the opposite side. It's going to give us one. The only place to have another one on a boundary is right there. Rules out this. So that one's ruled out. This goes here. And yes, I like that puzzle. That was very cool zoned. Um, all right, there you go. That is, I think we did 10, I think we did 10 Nori Nori puzzles. Um, I, I, there's probably lots of logic that I don't know about. I don't really have any specific tips, I guess. Um, other than, I guess the, what I was doing is I was kind of, it seemed like you could oftentimes get it down to three cells and sort of say, you know, it can't be both of these, so the other one has to be in. Um, or if you had four, you could kind of do sets of two sometimes and say you had to have one from each set of two. And also looking at, uh, like on that last puzzle, this thing with the extending into the regions, we knew we had one in this long region already. And so the second one had to be on a boundary because we couldn't put three in the same region. Yeah, that's kind of a cool puzzle type. I I, I don't know why I've never tried them. I just haven't, um, now I have. So uh, there you go. Let me know what you thought about Nori Nori. Um, if you tried any of them, did you get all the way up to level five? How far did you get when you were trying them on your own? Um, if you want more Nori Nori puzzles, check out uh, Puzzlink. You can go to the database. You can search for, um, you can filter just Nori Nori. You can also filter by um, difficulty level and um, check them out. Uh, when you click on the links, though, it takes you to someone's Twitter page or their blog or something, and you got to find the link from there. So um, there you go. Let me know what you thought of Nori Nori. See you guys soon. Thanks.